You have <clears throat> to keep persisting. You have to keep persisting. You cannot say, this will always not going to happen. It will never happen. You have to keep persisting. I don't care what the 3D is showing you. I don't care what they said. I don't care what they text you. You have to persist. If you want to get a text back from a person, you're going to have to persist. You're going to have to tell yourself they love texting you. They want to text you. Things are happening. They love you. They adore you. You have to keep persisting. You cannot start one day and just say, oh, it's not going to happen. You cannot waver. Some of you are wavering. Stop wavering. What do you want? Do you want this text back? Do you want this person to text you back? Like, stop saying it's not going to happen. Stop doubting yourself. Once you work on your self-concept, your thinking, you will get it under control. And you will start to see things happen. It took me a while to tell myself, I'm not going to check the 3D. I'm not going to react. I am not going to check their social media. It took me a while to really reprogram my mind. And now that my mind is mostly reprogrammed, everything is so much easier. Yes, I listen to demonic ends, meditations, subliminals, affirmations. But mostly, I persisted. I said my affirmations. I said it when I don't believe it. I said it when I didn't want to do it. I was disciplined, and I did it. Stop letting people tell you you can't get a text back. You can get a text back. If Neville could tell himself he's not going to war and got himself from being drafted to go to war, you can get a text back. Neville going to war was more extreme than a text back. You can get a call. The thing is, do you want to be disciplined enough? To get that call. To get that text back. Stop saying it's not going to happen. Stop saying it won't happen. Stop saying it's not going to happen. It is going to happen. Look. Don't react to the 3D. There's times where I don't get a lot of views. I don't get a lot of subscribers. Where people will panic and say it's not happening. But I don't even check the 3D. doesn't matter how many views I get. doesn't matter how many subscribers I get. Because I know at the end of the day, I'm getting what I need to get monetized. It's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. I don't doubt. I don't worry about divine timing. I don't worry about shit that doesn't make no sense. Because some of the shit that y'all believe in don't make no sense. I don't believe in any of that shit. I just know that I'm going to get my stuff when I want my stuff, and that's now. Do not let anything get you down. Do not let anyone tell you it is not possible. Stop checking the 3D. Stop worrying. Stop checking every three, every three days, every day. Oh, he didn't text me back. So what? He's going to text you back. She's going to text you back. He wants to text you back. Start telling yourself they want to message you. They want to unblock you. They want to be in your life. Stop saying the stuff that you don't want. The more you say they don't want to text you back, they don't want to text you, stop giving them free will. You're giving them free will. They don't have free will. No one has free will. You have to realize you are the creator. You are the power. You are the one doing this. Look. I've been doing this for years and I haven't got a coaching client, but that doesn't stop me from saying I'm going to get a coaching client. I know I'm going to get coaching clients. I know people are going to want to work with me. I know I'm going to get things that I said I was going to get that took me years to get. Doesn't matter the time. Doesn't matter the process. At the end of the day, I'm getting my stuff and I'm keeping going. When no one believed me when I got a spiritual ability, I didn't.
But no one believed me when I said I wanted to manifest a spiritual ability. I didn't let nobody stop me. When they didn't believe me, when they told me you have to do this, this, that to communicate with spirit, I didn't let that stop me. I kept affirming and now I have a spiritual ability and I hope that I can use it to help people. I didn't let anything stop me. Stop letting small people, small people with ideas, small ideas stop you. Stop letting the 3D make you react. Stop letting small things make you react. Sometimes some of these things that you go through are so small that they don't even matter. Like if you want to text back or call back, it's possible. Tell yourself it's possible. Tell yourself it's going to happen. And ain't no ams, ifs, maybe, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen when you want it. It's going to happen now. And do not worry about time. Do not worry about what people think. Persist. Keep going. Because sooner or later, it's going to happen. I know that everything I want and desire is going to happen. I know that I don't have to do anything extreme to get it. I know that I don't have to ask a higher power to get it. I do work with higher powers, but it's not a it's not a must. It's not I have to. I do not worry about divine timing because I get everything on my timing when I want it. Stop letting people who do so less for you, like Will Smith said, get in your mind. Stop letting people that don't care about you get in your mind stop letting people that don't want you to be better than them get in your mind stop letting people who want you to live a life that's not worth living get to you you level up and you create the life you want and you tell yourself this is what I want this is what I'm gonna get this is what I'm gonna do I don't have no backup plan I'm not getting no backup plan. I'm getting the fuck what I want. And that's what I had to do. I had to step it up and stop wavering, stop complaining, stop saying it's been this long. But it was easier because I have spirit inside me. Everything's easier when you got spirit inside you. When you have a living and breathing spirit inside you, it is so much easier. That's why I mix witchcraft, spirituality, magic with law of assumption. But you don't have to do that. That's up to you. Stop doubting yourself. Stop telling yourself you're not going to get the text back. Stop telling yourself you're not going to get that call. Start telling yourself you are going to get that call. You are going to get that text back. And it's going to happen now. It's going to happen instantly. And you don't have to do anything particular to get it. All you have to do is persist and affirm and believe. Do not let anything make you feel like it's not going to happen. Because it's going to happen. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. I'm getting what I want. I don't care if people think that I'm not popular, that I'm not cool. I don't care. Who cares about what they want? Their opinions don't do nothing for me. Their thoughts don't do nothing for me. They don't pay my bills. They don't do anything for me. So why would I care about their opinions and thoughts? Like, be stronger than that. Work on your mental diet. Mental diet is so important. Work on yourself. You don't have to be perfect to get what you want. You don't have to have the perfect affirmation, the perfect mental diet. But if you want to keep something, if you want to maintain something, it's important but to get it, you can have a crappy self-esteem, personality, confidence, and get what you want. Because I've gotten things when I wasn't my best. But now that I'm at my best, everything is easier. Everything is easier when you love yourself, when you accept yourself, when you have high confidence, when you have good self-concept, good self-esteem, good everything. So important, good men on diet. So you want that text back. You want that call back. That's what all you got to do is affirm and persist. Do not let any thought get in your mind that is not happening. When it comes up, say, nope, that's not true. 
they're calling me. The more you question the negative thoughts that come in your mind, the more you tell the negative thoughts that come in your mind that is not true, that is not re- <clears throat> reality, that you're overreacting, that is not true, the more you fight it, the more you reprogram yourself. And that's the key to everything. Reprogramming yourself is so important. 